that you go and make copies. And um, I got stuck in an elevator because the security guard said I, I wasn't allowed to go back up. And I'm like, these are, <laughs> I talked my way out, you know, out of that, of course, because, you know, it's me. Um, I, these are official documents for the GOP, which they were, to contest um, polling practices. And, you know, I need to go up. Um, this is, you know, my person that I came with is here. My car keys are here. Um, there were a lot of people that were locked out of the building after they'd been in. You know, they left for lunch. They weren't allowed back in, again, under the order of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. So shenanigans in Detroit. And I'm not making light of it because it's really heartbreaking that this is what we've come to as a country. This is what we've stooped to as a country. Shame on us. Shame on us that partisan politics has taken away common decency, truth, honesty, integrity. It is disgusting what is happening in Detroit. It is disgusting. And it isn't about an election. It is about major fraud on a major scale that was very well organized. That was very well organized. Um, so I'm just going to reverse the angle on the camera so that you guys can kind of see what's going on. I'll get as close as I can without getting arrested. So what you have here is, oh, and they put up a bunch of signs to block too. So this is where all the GOP um, people that are waiting to get into the room are standing. They just a few minutes ago let in five people, um, but no more than five people. And we know that we're down probably um, 50 people in there. So it's been very interesting. Um, Detroit Police Department is representing. Um, 